Welcome back, Captains. We're down here at the Dunlop and Boat Ramp today, and I want to introduce you guys to something called Weather Radar. I think it's free. You can probably download it on any smartphone. If you don't have this, you can look up the sky. I heard that saying that early bird gets the worm. Early bird doesn't get the storm. Look at this thing coming out of here. This storm was so mean looking. I thought he was my stepdaddy, but there's still some people trying to launch their boats in this right here. I kid you not, he's putting in right now. You can see most of the people have some sense. They're making it in here, blasting through the wake zone. Oh, yeah, you get you some. Now that's a souvenir you can take home. He destroys the rail. Look at that. Bam. That thing went fatigued, and I'm sure that gel coat took a little beating up there in the front. These guys auto-deploy the fenders. Grab the lines and pull them in. Get them all sideways. A good preparation, maybe leaving about 10 minutes earlier, would have done you really good. You don't have to rush and damage everything. And before you ask, yes, I've been caught out in a storm and it cost me about $1,200. I had to buy one of them front canopies that block everything and they can hide if something happens like this. While these guys are fighting to secure this thing down, you can see the wind whipping through those mangroves over there. And look at that flag on the front of that thing. That thing's very erect. These guys are still having trouble over here getting this thing cinched in. And finally, look how ominous and annoying this is. There wasn't a bunch of lightning, but I was waiting for a tornado to spawn. This is how bipolar this weather is here in Florida. It goes from sunny to looking like this. Can't put my foot anywhere. There you got it. You got a line you throw me, I hold up for you. Now the rain and the good part hasn't even started yet. Just give it a minute. Everybody in the background hauling ass trying to get home. The rain hasn't got here, but when it does, and this stuff is blowing 25 to 30, it stings. Another group comes whistling in right over here. Key West on the right starts to make wheelies. Look at him doing this. I guess that's to protect him from the rain, but he stands up, popping up like a little weasel up there. That guy in the background's maxed out trying to make his way under the bridge. He does more wheelies up here making weight. I don't understand what he's doing here. It baffles me. He ain't got nowhere to go. Just settle down, relax, and don't spread awake for everybody else. Oh, they went under the bridge, and I guess in their infinite wisdom, they decided they're going to try and put up a canopy in this micro-hurricane. They throw out the anchor there, and they start working on this. One of them screws are going to let loose, and these guys are going to be back in New Smyrna. That's the wrong time and place to do something like that. This rain is coming in at 90 degrees. At this point, there's not much you can do. Maybe drop down below, snuggle, get your bow under the wind there. But this is that rain that comes in sideways like that and hits you square in the nipple if you ain't got no shirt on. It hurts. Well, these guys finally back the trailer in. They're getting things situated over there. You can see the broken rail that's over there. Well, we're gonna take a look and see what kind of damage they caused here. 
I think that might have been prior because where he hit was more up in the front. I just didn't notice it until I watched the video back. Another couple boats roll in here. They take it easy. They're on the brink of lifting off over here. This is a lot of wind. That captain's doing all right, though. It looks like he's got plexiglass all around there. He's just bowing to the wind and taking it easy and nice and slow. The pontoon, on the other hand, that front porch is wide open. And I guarantee you, there are some new cuss words invented on that boat. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. But now that the weather's gone, we're going to take a look over here at New Smyrna. This boat comes in kind of swirling around out there trying to find its way back here to the dock. I sped this one up because they took their time, which is perfect. That's what you want to do. Take it easy, not rush it, and get yourself in there. I think everybody's heard that once or twice in their life. Well, maybe except if you're married. Then you just get yelled at. Being conscientious of the wind and the tide, that's going to help you out tremendously. Now they nose into the dock over here. Next thing I know, take a look at her over there in the blue. She drops in the drink over there, and I'm not too sure why. I think she might have thought it was a little bit shallower than it really is. It's about 12 feet right there, maybe a little bit deeper. A good solid would have been to throw the stern line, but instead she's going to swim this over. Look at the power of that. That's moving that boat pretty quickly. I'm not sure how the bow of the boat's still stuck up there on the front, but sure enough, it is. Now, there's no cleats here on the dock, and that's usually a telltale sign that that's not where you're supposed to park. It's nice and slow today, so it's not affecting too much. I would have just taken the ladder. You had hands on it right there, but hey, I'm just me. As she makes her exit out of the water here, she does it froggy style. Look at that. There you go. You found ground, and I'm sure that's a really good feeling. Now when they do their back in, it's flawless. So perfect, I think you could get three wide here at this ramp. You can see they get it right in there. The trailer is just perfect. Matter of fact, I think they are gonna try three wide. Look at this guy. He gives them about six inches of room to get over there, and that leaves him no room for air. They come in, she's still dancing, saying woo. Everything looks smooth. Except for that distance between you and the next one. It gives you no room for air. And here he comes, right there. Bang. Walks into their boat. Still cockeyed a little bit. Look over there at her, she's hollering about something. She ain't happy. She gives him the stink eye over there. And I'd be pretty mad too if you hit my boat. And he's getting ready to fire up that turbo whistle here. And I ain't ever seen rolling coal like this before. This is like rolling a single piece of coal. Look at this. That thing goes and gets itself out of there. I guess it needs all that horsepower to pull that thing out. It is a Ford, right? I don't think you guys for watching, liking, subscribing. I'll see you again soon.